Okay, let's talk a little bit about the stages of mitosis and what's happening there. I don't think this is actually all that fascinating, but I do think it's kind of important that you understand what's going on. So let's go and run through this again. So we have our four stages of mitosis. We have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. If you can remember PMAT, you'll know the order. So let's talk about what's going on in each one of these. So I have here on this image two cells or two image of cells dividing. The pictures on top here are actual cells undergoing cell division. They've been labeled with fluorescent dyes so you can see the cytoskeleton in red and green and the blue things are the chromosomes. Um, this is just a cartoon of what's going on and we've removed most of the organelles so all you can see is the nucleus and then these centrioles that we talked about before. Now centrioles are important. Centrioles are going to make protein structures called spindle fibers. These spindle fibers are going to be used to manipulate the chromosomes as well as help form the two new cells. So this, this is showing you prophase. And the book also calls this prometaphase. This is, in my mind, this is actually part of prophase. But here's what's happening. There's basically three big things that are going on here. The first thing that's going to happen is the DNA is going to go from this chromatin, this unfolded, uncoiled DNA protein structure, to the chromosome structure that you can actually see. So that, that X shape that you think of when you think of chromosomes. So that's going to happen. The other thing that's going to happen is this nuclear envelope, the membrane around the nucleus, is going to disintegrate. So that's the second thing that happens. And then the third thing that happens is the spindle fibers that are being formed by the centrioles are going to attach to the chromosomes. I wanted to show you that here for a second. So this green here, these green lines, represent the spindle fibers. They actually attach to the chromosome at a protein here. This protein is called a kinetochore, and that's at this centromere region of the chromosome. The centromere of the chromosome is just this region where the two sister chromatids attach. And this protein is gonna be necessary for the separation of the chromosomes. So that's what's in prophase. We're coiling up the DNA, we're breaking down the nuclear envelope, and then we are attaching those spindle fibers to the chromosomes. And then we move on to my favorite phase of mitosis. Of course I have a favorite phase. This is metaphase. Now, a little note on the names. Prophase, that word pro, or the prefix pro, that means comes first. Meta in metaphase means middle. And one of the things that happens here is these chromosomes get moved around by the spindle fibers and they line up right in the middle of the cell. So that's the thing that always sort of stands out when you look at these underneath the microscope. To me, they're always the easiest ones to find when they're like this. So metaphase lined up in the middle. In anaphase, <clears throat> what we're going to do is this. We're going to separate the sister chromatids. So in anaphase, we're doing separation. Ana as a prefix means to move apart. So what's going to happen here is you can see these chromosomes are moving. What's actually going on is this. At the kinetochore, the kinetochores actually climb up these spindle fibers. And as they climb up the spindle fibers, they chop the end off. So think about if you did that rope climbing thing in gym class. Imagine climbing up that rope and as you did, you cut the rope off as you climbed up. That's what the kinetochores are doing. So the spindle fibers shorten as these uh, chromosomes march up them. Now, the last part of this is telophase. Telo, or telo, means end. So in telophase, we're going to do the following things. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to reform the nuclear envelope. We are going to uncoil the chromosomes. Now, you'll notice that seems kind of familiar. It's basically just the opposite of prophase. So once you learn what happens in prophase, you understand what happens in telophase. It's just the opposite. Now, the last part of this is we have to form two new cells. Now, that process is called cytokinesis. So in cytokinesis, we're actually going to form two new cells. It's a little bit different depending on whether you have an animal cell or a plant cell. What happens in an animal cell is this. 
So and this is actually a, 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 an electron microscope image of a cell undergoing cytokinesis. So if, if this is my cell, if I have this round cell here, inside the cell, lining um, the inside of the membrane, you have cytoskeletal elements that are round like this. And during cytokinesis, these things slide past each other like this, and they get smaller and smaller. It's a bit like someone making a balloon animal. And so these proteins will shrink, and they'll actually pull the membrane in on itself, and it will break it into daughter cells. So that's how cytokinesis works in animal cells. In plant cells, we can't do that because plant cells have a cell wall. So they form what's known as a cell plate. So what the cell will do is it'll take vacuoles containing cellulose, that's the stuff that makes up the plant cell wall, and it'll, it'll maneuver these vacuoles towards the middle of the cell, and then those vacuoles fuse together and you end up forming this cell plate. It's just basically a giant vacuole filled with cellulose. And that thing continues to grow and grow until it connects to the existing cell wall. And then we have two cells that each have a cell wall around them. So let's look at some actual cells undergoing these steps. These are plant cells. So you can see here, here's a cell in interphase. You can see the nucleus. The, chrom the chromatin is kind of loose. Um, this is the nucleolus part of the, the nucleus, and that's still around. Uh, this is early on in prophase, and you can see the chromosomes have condensed, so you can see them clearly. The nuclear envelope is starting to disintegrate. Here's metaphase, and you can see these cells, the, the chromosomes are lined up in the middle. In anaphase, they're separating, so they're, the sister chromatids have pulled apart. And by the way, these lines that you see here, those are the spindle fibers. And then this is a plant cell in telophase. And you can see here, this is the cell plate that's forming. It looks a little bit different in animal cells. So this, these images are from uh, whitefish cells. So you can see here, this is a cell in interphase. You can see the nucleus. The cell in prophase, where you can see the chromosomes really clearly. The nuclear envelope starting to disintegrate. You can see these spindle fibers forming here. Metaphase, they're lined up in the middle of the cell. And again, this is another, this is early on in anaphase, late metaphase. Um, this is late anaphase, and then here's telophase, where you can see these two new cells forming. By the way, in the, the students always find this hilarious, this indentation you get is called a cleavage furrow. Um, now, all right, let's see if you can guess some of these. So let's do this one. What phase of mitosis is this? Metaphase. <clears throat> How about this one right here? Anaphase. This one right here? Prophase. This one right here? Interphase. And then this right here? The only one's left, telophase. And you can see that cell plate forming, and you actually see the chromosomes are still uncoiling here. So those are the stages of mitosis.